right. might as well go ahead and get right to it. Um, Big Sad 1900, he dropped a project over a weekend called uh, My Side, They Side, and The, and, uh, the Truth. Mm. And um, he also made some posts showing it was at like maybe what, number 40 on Apple Music and had a caption. Let's check out that post. Do we have it? I'm coming. I'm it's an Instagram you post. Made a few. We got a couple of the links. Uh, it's 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 on his Instagram and it should be um it should be in the group chat. I'm gonna read the caption and I'm gonna get with uh Flame again. Brick Baby's not here, so he can't answer. But I'll ask Flame. Get with me. We I'm got the group chat links. The one the, uh, DW Flame name being said. I put it in the random group nigga chat. I, I, the just, the group. I'm saying, I don't I'm see the bitches yet. You got it. You want me to read it? Okay. All right. Bad. No problem at all. Uh, I just sent it in this one. All right, so he said it was at number 45, excuse me. Um, nothing was the same about Drake is at 44. And Almost Hated by Lil Durk is uh, at 46. He said, didn't DW Flame just drop? I don't see him on here. Uh, we going up. We at 45 and still going. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't see that one either. Okay, now this is Instagram post. You know, his Instagram keeps getting deleted. Right, right, right. So uh, he makes new ones. This is his new Instagram, my latest Instagram. Okay. Uh, so you didn't see the post. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't see the post. Okay. But I have been seeing people tag me and little shit like that. Mm -hmm. And what's so crazy about Big Sad is I wanted the best for Big Sad. Big Sad put himself in a in a position where he put me in a predicament when I had to speak my real true mind and what I thought about it. Mm -hmm. As a black man, prosper. But as a gang member, I had to speak the truth. Nigga, you told. And you a snitch. And look, you don't have to. He like, oh, niggas can go uh, be podcasters now. Look, look, look. I'm going to tell you one thing. He like, niggas, niggas can't. I'm a rapper. Woo, woo. Look, cuz. You don't have to be a real nigga to be a rapper. You could be a bitch, a snitch, a anything. Nigga, I'm a real nigga. My name is good. You could never say that no more. Yo shit all bad, nigga. You in the house walking around with you in the house walking around with 30s on your hip. That's far from gangster. Chill out, champ. Nigga, like, and your gangster ain't not, I, I don't have to deal with you. When you were sitting next to me, I was cool with you because we had a podcast, champ. You not from my hood. So I don't have to do nothing to you, nor was I ever gonna do nothing to you because I can give a fuck. Your hood need to do something to you. You feel me? Basically, you sitting here saying all them niggas is busters because you've been in your hood and they been knew you snitch. You said the wrong car, nigga. You said the car that the niggas was in. And that's just the facts. You could do as good as you want on your music. You feel me? But it's not going to last long. Name one snitch besides Alpo, who name still ringing. You fucked yourself up, nigga. On the dead homies. And in no way, form, or fashion on this earth you can see me. Period. Niggas can buy up artillery. I got artillery. We got everything that a nigga can say. Because you can't see me from either way around, nigga. So rap. That's what you do. Rap, nigga, be the best rapper you could. Make it to where you at. Your name already bad. Your homie say that, nigga, where you be at, niggas don't even be at. So, like, because if you want to make that, if you, who cares? I don't care about your music. I didn't want you to not get far, which you put a hold to yourself, because snitching is snitching. You talk about it in your own music. So, nigga, if you being real, if you was me and I was you, you would be like, that's snitching. That's snitching, bro. Okay, I mean, so so basically you saying that the shoe was on the other foot, niggas wouldn't have gave you no. If the nigga like me though, we talking about a nigga, we talking about a whole different type of nigga. A nigga like DW, who everybody be like, DW supposed to be this, or just how I carry myself. I am, I am a stand up nigga. If something like that happened to me, nigga, it'd be flooded, flooded. I wouldn't. Even, I, the only scapegoat a uh, snitch nigga got to to say is, yeah, I dropped my album. Cause what else you gonna say? You got you got an interrogation room. I got interrogation room shit too, nigga. And I, you knew I knew better when I was 12, 13, nigga, on insane crip, nigga. You was fully involved. You was gang banging in. You snitched, bro. But I don't think you meant to. It was an accident. You you didn't even have to say nothing because you didn't do nothing. So it's an accident, bro. You slipped. If your hood forgive you for that, you're good. I don't give a fuck. You don't need DW approval. You don't need suspect. You don't need John approval. 
None of that. Nigga, keep rapping. But now you trying to troll. That's what busters do after a while. You get on the internet and troll. Ain't nobody getting chipped from your trolling, nigga. I'm a whole different type of nigga. If I'm on there, you dissing your own dead homie and got into it with your homie. That's what brought it out. What type of weird ass nigga try to diss his, your own homie to get on his brother nerve? But that's your dead homie. What a loser. Come on, champ. We two different type of niggas. I might not never. You talking about me for no reason. I still was wishing DW. I'm not claiming to be out there every day, but I'm insane. Crip, if you see me troll, if I say I put a nigga up top, I will. Crip Street, nigga. We different like that. I'm insane, but I wish peace and blessings to you, champ. Keep staying in your house with your 30 on your hip, walking around on live, because that's what gangsters do. <laughs> Did you get a chance to check out this project over the weekend? Fuck her project, I nigga. Twenty third Street, nigga. I'm insane. You shouldn't even fuck your project. I'm insane, nigga. Twenty uh, third Street. Uh, you liked it? I liked oh, the my project. Bad. It was cool. <laughs> my bad. I, we, snap back. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I did like the project. I did enjoy it. Uh, I wish him much much success as well. Um, do I feel like the no jumper interview that he did was the best timing? Mm. Uh, no. You feel me? I would have waited till I had an album, album album out. Just mm. this is just Could've me being a strategist. Mm. Yeah, I would have let that blown over. Wait till I have an album, then do press and have my PR, my publicist, whoever arranged the interview, say, "Hey, Ooh, we're gonna then keep the questions." Been looking in the yeah. album for him, right? right. You keep know it on the music. I missed to keep it on the music. Right. Right. Put it into Even the he music. Might not need it because the streets yeah. is going crazy. No, but that would have definitely for me dropped some mystique to it. Maybe we want to go find out what you're gonna say because that's probably what I would have did. Let me tell my story through the music. Through the music, keep it on wax. Put it in the music. That's a good idea. And then you tell you go do the interview. When the album drop, and then you tell them, "Hey, we would like you to stay away from questions about street things. Right. We only want to talk about the album right. or X, Y, Z." Come to me. That's just my suggestion. That's how I would have handled it. PR your way through that motherfucker. Yeah, right. That's how I would have handled that situation. What, when somebody got somebody who cares about them next to them, mm. does you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Because I, I, I was like, cause I don't even want the nigga to come up here. I'm listening to yeah. Big Sad on the way. If okay. you watch the first interview, I was on the nigga. I'm like, okay, I'm giving you the chance to okay. tell me. What happened? So that's why people are like, why you didn't say nothing the first time? Because I didn't want the nigga to be a snitch. But uh, we're at a part, we're at a point where you can't pick and choose. He put me on the spot where his own homies is calling me. Do like, we have the video, Josh? That I that I sent? Let's check out this uh this clip real quick. This is him. I believe it was on IG Live or something. Right. Something like that. That's that gangster shit I'm talking about. Crazy unfold of events, man. And like I said, we ain't got no back and forth to do. I'm not going back and forth on the internet. I don't argue we with niggas who, who... Oh, we can't see it. I don't argue with niggas who got to deal with their own audio. issues in real life like that. Oh. You got a lot more issues than me to deal with, bro. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even an issue for a car. Well, I have one more question while we look for the video. And it's my last question on the topic, to be honest, because again, I'm not a street nigga. I stay on the sidewalks. That's right. what the sidewalk is for. So I just listen to his music the same way I listen to Gunna. Like, mm. I don't care about any of that right. stuff. I just, is the album good or is it not? You worried about good music. That's it. That's uh, the extent of mm. my genius on that. I try um, my best to separate the artists from the music. Sometimes I can't, but I try mm. my best to. You feel me? Facts. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like if we can still listen to an R. Kelly song, mm. we can, I, I can definitely still I listen to a Gunna no song. Cap. You know no what I'm cap. saying? That's because I definitely don't agree with R. Kelly. No cap. And I'm going to still listen to R. Kelly. Right, still Ignition Remix, come on. Come on, give me a second. But in this, but, I'm lucky. Right involved fake involved mm. but my question was is this type of um rhetoric good for the la rap scene or west coast rap scene because over the weekend we have four artists drop um dope projects from the city and yet we have that post that i just read he made that post mm. those type of posts going up mm. you feel me it's good the just want to get your opinion on it but the face of the west coast could never be anybody with that on their name i can hey, tell you that watch. period Okay. You have it, it just can't happen. But that that doesn't mean that he can't put out music though. No, he People can be always love he can be his music. Can six and nine still put out music? Nobody's gonna really listen to it like that. Yeah. Right in the, nobody in the street's gonna listen. The to only it. reason why because six six nine embraced it more. And I never liked six nine music to begin. Right, right. With. Yeah. But the thing is, he can still make music if he oh, wants yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can still make music. Charleston White can still be on the internet saying yeah. he telling no niggas. Yeah, yeah. It's, Half of the world don't give a fuck about gangbanging. Okay, right. yeah. Let's get it's small. Yeah. This is a nigga who been outside the country and Very been outside the 
Mm-hmm. Like that shit is this. So I don't care about him snitching. And nor should the world, like niggas outside of gangbanging, should care neither. Right, right. If he's making good music, and he's like making it. good music. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you got it? We can't see it just yet. All right, right. And my bad today, y'all. We just having a little technical, you feel me, difficulties and shit. <coughs> we getting it right, though. No, true. We still, yeah. I still These got niggas, energy. They don't hate me, gang. These niggas hate the fact that they broke. A lot of niggas tried to rap, and the shit just didn't work. You feel me? So they end up on fucking podcasts. I don't know why you saying that. I've been saying podcasts all day. <laughs> Politic and gang shit on podcasts and shit. You came on here and politic gang shit. <laughs> Dude, you ain't even on for that. Hey, he I don't... love that podcast is word. Bro, it's so about it, man. Podcast is Because I'm doing podcasts. Podcast. Bro, look, look, first of all, you ain't doing better than nobody up here. I don't know. Well, I don't know about y'all two. Mm. <laughs> You're not doing better than me, champ. Listen, and he got 200. He posted He got a $200,000 advance from Empire for his last album. I ain't I ain't got no $200,000 advance. Right, right, right. So yet, I ain't got nothing. Yet. I have nothing, to say. I have nothing to say about him or him. Uh, you do not got more emotion than me. You don't got nothing more than me. Look, but what rats I ain't go, no rapper. Only, only thing a rat can go to is cheese and say, like, I got money, this, that. That's the only thing you could go to. Yo, your name is bad, dog. That's what you got to understand, cuz. What them, all them guns you carrying? Come with consequences. We end up going to jail at a point where you waving and doing shit online. Your name is bad, dog. You got to go in that place with them dogs now. Oh, I been there. I know what it is. But your name bad and your paper is literally bad. Niggas like me in there or niggas like real niggas in there going to flush you, dog. So, bro, all that. And you not doing better than me, bro. My, I'm I'm way more viral than you. Music wise, you're streaming better. You're streaming better. I don't even drop music. This is my uh, only album for a long time. You dropped 17 albums, cuz. Let's get this straight. Are you not just jumping off the cuz acting like he's jumping out the gym? Look, you dropped 17 albums. You say you got 17 more. Come on, cuz. I'm everywhere, cuz. Got shows everywhere. I'm all over your TV screen. Your baby mama, your mom and them, your kids and them. On the dead homies, they know the truth. So keep your music, keep doing as good as you can. And you can't, the thing you using with them other niggas, oh, it's, man, it's cuz niggas broke. It's cuz you can't use that with me. You know what I'm saying? We way different, nigga. You ain't, that don't do nothing to me, nigga. I'm, I'm worth, more than, uh, worth more than a lot of niggas. 